because he believed the lies of rich anti-vaccination fanatics who have no science education like Robert Kennedy Jr. and the constant disinformation campaign against vaccines run by the fully vaccinated billionaire Rupert Murdoch and the fully vaccinated hosts of the Fox primetime shows, all of whom also have no science education whatsoever. 50-year-old Robert LeMay died from COVID-19 on Friday. Because Robert LeMay was victimized by those lies, he was outraged at the governor of Washington, Jay Inslee, for issuing a vaccine mandate for state troopers like him. He went viral in October with this video. This is my final sign off. Um, after 22 years of serving the citizens of the state of Washington, um, being asked to leave because I am dirty. This is the last time you'll hear me in a state patrol car. And Jay Hensley can kiss my ass. Robert LeMay's income supported his wife and four children. His paycheck was the only source of support in that family. And the Fox hosts, who make tens of millions of dollars for supporting lies, made what they called a celebrity out of one of their victims. What's next for you, other than being a celebrity now? What's next for you? I'm the spokesperson for thousands and thousands. I even say millions of people. I think there's two million people that have actually viewed it. Um, it's been 99% positive from everybody. Um, wow. I think this is my path right now. Um, there's a lot of job offers that I'm getting, phenomenal job offers. All right, well, um, a, I'm just a sleeping to... giant. Yeah, we may be a, yes, sleep, a sleeping giant. So we hope that that's what's happened here. We've awakened it slowly but surely. Matthew Gertz, who covers Fox for Media Matters, wrote, they were happy to tell his story when it was a useful foil against vaccine mandates. Fox viewers heard the hosts they trusted suggest that it was heroic to resign rather than take life-saving drugs. Now that he's dead, they are nowhere to be found. Fox never got around to updating its audience on Robert LeMay's death yesterday, but they did find time to prop up some new anti-vax culture war heroes who are still alive. No word yet on how much Rupert Murdoch will contribute to the GoFundMe page set up for Robert LeMay's family. How about the $100 million or so that he pays the Fox hosts who do everything they possibly can to steer people away from taking the vaccine that all of them have taken? The vaccine that Rupert Murdoch flew across the Atlantic Ocean to get in England before he could get it here. So far, the LeMay family's GoFundMe page has raised $7,610 since Robert LeMay quit his job in October. Please consider helping Robert LeMay's family now. I'm going to make a contribution to the GoFundMe page, and I hope you do too, because Robert LeMay's family needs our help now. And we can be sure that Rupert Murdoch will do Nothing.